Representative Traganza, do you have any further? No, thank you. Okay. Uh, Representative Merrill. Thank you. Uh, this question is for Commissioner Sorensen, I guess. I agree, first I would tell you that I agree with Representative Fleck on most of this stuff, but after the last meeting, the uh, building committee went over and we toured the building. And as we were going through the building, the kitchen and the back room and everything else, she said, well, maybe this could be a delegation room or this could be this. But it didn't seem to me that there was any clear-cut design at all as to what was, was going on. And even today, you said maybe probation Right. would like to, but we don't know that. No, we don't. We don't know that at all. Uh, and so, and I'm looking at this, and I, was any thought given to tearing down, we, we got 15,000 square feet, was any thought given to tearing down all four wings and just leaving that space behind the boiler and the extension for storage or offices or what? Because you still got quite a bit of space there. And there just is. do away with the rest of it. Was any thought given to that? We had talked about a culinary arts program using the kitchen facilities with the jail uh, as a training uh, opportunity. Uh, we talked about the kitchen area, not the kitchen area, but the dining area as space for storage or for a delegation meeting. I realize now that the delegation could meet in the new nursing home if we have a, an issue where we have a large attendance space in there would be sufficient um, and then the expansion of the laundry which we don't know yet okay if, if, yeah Madam Chairman, if we could get one thing settled today and that is cloth extension are they going in there or aren't they going in there well on the agenda right we have we're going to be talking about cooperative extension okay. i need to get what i wanted to do is to get all of the questions out on the table about the old the old nursing home so that um we we can end up having a uh, discussion about things that are real instead of looking at things that are just kind of nefarious out there in the netherlands representative mcconkey thank you madam chairman okay. Um, first of all, the uh, Representative Flex request was specific and on target uh, a month or two months ago. It was again brought up in the building committee. The commissioners acknowledged what it was he was looking for, and the commissioners have not moved forward. I have not seen any information here that tells me that they're moving forward with an analysis of what makes sense that we build. So number one, shame on you. Number two, there we were told there was authorization of funds to do this rehab. We were given a, a, a report from two years ago that talks about uh, planning monies or a year ago. It talks about uh, very specifically that the commissioners plan on proposing a recommendation for a restructure of the old nursing home. That has to be. The commissioners continually bring to us a box filled with wishes and what, what could be. The commissioners keep telling us that the cooperative extension needs to have a home and it needs to happen shortly. The commissioners don't have any idea how much square footage we have in existing building. We have a need for 3,000 square feet. We have a building that's 15,000 square feet. And we're talking about preserving even more space above and beyond that. I guess my question is, how much longer are we going to wait for the commissioners to actually understand the scope of what it is they're trying to do, to bring answers to the delegation? I'm, I'm just absolutely stymied by the fact of how unprofessional the building plan is at this point in time and at what point the commissioners are going to come forward with a solid recommendation of what it is that we're trying to do here and why when we already have three or four times the space in one building why you're even talking about any more space I think we need to have another building committee meeting to do to deal with the old nursing home. Madam Chair? Yes. 
the building committee um, is not getting is not getting the information that they're needing. Number one, uh, there was a conversation a couple months ago that our questions were delaying the process. Nothing is happening in earnest, and the building committee is not getting the information that Representative Fleck asked for, which is an extremely reasonable question. So how much how much more time is, is needed before we could do that? I, I see us wasting weeks and months, and we're not getting anywhere. I think the, um, the most urgent portion of rehabbing the old nursing home is with Crawford Extension. The building is paid for. We own it. We don't owe anything on it. It doesn't mean we should tear it down. We agreed to tear down two of the wings and keep two plus the fourth section. It doesn't cost us anything to re to mothball it for some future use if we have to. We know we have to have more space for maintenance or storage. I guess that's my answer right now. Mike, if I could just... <coughs> Thank you. Over, over in, the, uh, in our campus over here, we have a large building that used to be the, uh, the dairy production uh, barn. There's a building that we have kept mothballed for a great number of years, the whole time that I've been here. Which building is that? I'm talking about the building over here that used to have the uh, cattle or dairy cows in it. Right, that's it's the one that's going to be to torn down? Going to be torn down. That's my point. It's, 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 a, it's something that was put off a number of years ago because it didn't cost us anything to keep the building. It's now going to cost the taxpayers more money today than it would have a number of years ago to tear it down. My, my thought I want to leave with you, we're not just mothballing buildings. This isn't like a ship out in the harbor. It's going to require maintenance. It's going to require funds. It is always going to cost more money next year, the year after, to tear something down than it does this year. Why, why do you believe that it's not costing us any money? And why, why would we postpone something that's going to cost us more money in the future? Now, have, um, uh, Commissioner Solomon and, and uh, Representative McConkey is um, has asked his questions. We'll go on to Representative Alvin. Represent, uh, Commissioner Solomon. It costs. It may very well. You may be absolutely right that it costs more money to share it down as I do today. It could also cost, <clears throat> excuse me, a great deal more money to build something. Should we find the necessity for it at some time down the, down the road? Sure. <laughs> Additionally. When I, when I was in touch with uh, probation, the 1,000 square feet that they need could be part of the core building. That's what we, at least what I was looking at. The maintenance, the, pe the things in the, that are presently in the boiler room, present boiler room, that is being stored there for maintenance, need to come out of there and that is also going to be pushed back into the core building as make as places for maintenance maintenance supplies there are also supplies scattered around the, um, the complex that need to be in a more appropriate um, storage facility, something that maybe has some degree of uh, <coughs> dryness, for example, that we could use that mothball two wings for. So we don't have specifics in that sense as to how many square feet we may need for the maintenance uh, portion. We also know that we are, as we had this morning, the reason that DES was here, we don't know about the laundry, though we do hope, if, it, if it's feasible, to keep that in the core building as well. So we do know 
certain things that we want in the core building. And it is not that there are thousands of square feet that we are un unable to, look, to put numbers to. Okay, uh, thank you, ma'am. Uh, and, I, and I don't disagree with what you said. But I would suggest to you that if 3,000 square feet is what the county needs, I would suggest to you that all of your needs that you just told me probably aren't in excess of another three to 4,000 square feet. But the storage trailers you're using are only 50 foot by 8 foot, and a couple, three of those we're using. It's not an enormous amount of space. What I'm saying to you is, even if you add your need, the pellet stove, the extra maintenance, and all of that, you still you still have enough space for one or two more cooperative extensions. Commissioner Solomon. Well, then I guess my question is this: We only have a hundred thousand dollars in the budget to take down um, to take down wing to take down wings. That would be sufficient only for two wings. Where would that other money come from? I think that what is what is happening is that we have a issue of the old nursing home, of what we're going to do with it and where we go with it. We at the delegation would like to know your wish list of what you would like to do with the delegation with the old nursing home. At that point, the delegation will either turn around and say, your wishes are come true, your wishes are not going to come true, and then what we can do is that we can have a vote to be able to tell you what we're going to do. We are going to talk about extension, and I have strong feelings about extension, about what we have told them and what we have promised and what we have thought we were going to be able to do. But I think that what we have to do is to get from the commissioners um, an idea and a want list, whether you're, and you're not going to be able to put any money to how much is this going to cost to rehab the core, because you don't know. We have $7,000 that we have spent of extension money for what we have gotten from um, EGA right now. So looking at that, figuring out what we have to do, and what it is you want, then what we have to do is to go with the report that Representative Fleck has done, is to be able to get where we're going to. Representative Alden. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, I have a number, I guess a laundry list, pardon the expression, but it might be appropriate right now, a laundry list of questions and, and uh, to go through here and, and statements. The first one, though, I want to start with is the demolition of the old nursing home, okay? And the amount of money that was appropriated in the original budget for the demolition of the old nursing home. It was set at $100,000. That amount, as we were told and was specifically asked to the commissioners and was responded to by a commissioner, that that entire amount, that $100,000 was good enough to tear down the entire old nursing home. That was part of the budget because the delegation was not going to approve a budget that didn't, did not include the demolition of the entire nursing home. Okay, In response to Commissioner Solomon's statement about where are we going to get the money for the demolition of the nursing home, there is a contingency fund of $800,000 approximately in the budget for the building of the new nursing home for contingencies. So there is money to tear down the nursing home. At the time of the, at the time of the budget analysis, that the scrap that was available and, the, and you know the, the copper and whatever was coming out of there was so valuable that we were told that the tearing demolition of those buildings could be done for virtually nothing and that hundred thousand dollars was plenty so either the memory is not correct or 